Whoa. What the fuck? What the hell? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. Her kid. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? No, we'll, 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 we'll. That's pretty cool. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. I'm a human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Uh, Why Arvis? Because of her. Keep it together. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Okay, that's just her journal. With spaces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Sure does. I know I'm not doing this. It's real. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Yeah, is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if Sad I can't mean to learn useful facts you may use if you rewind. Making them Okay. So I guess I have to rewind. Rewind faster. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? There we go. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Let's just go to yes. Victoria, the you bathroom. Do your I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. Why don't we just give the photo that we John have? Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay. Just a bump on a bigger road. There we go. So let's speak up. Excuse me. 
Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid him. <laughs> I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Good old time travel. Okay, let's now go to the restroom. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't run. tell anybody. Let's run. They'll think I'm crazy. We're almost there. Stop bullying now. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Use the faucet. I washed my face. Indeed. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. I I'm need a hammer to break it open. Oh, oh, damn it. To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would Quick. ever even take a punk ass, would they? Take it. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. There we go. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever Wait, what? even miss your punk ass, would oh, they? Oh, I already have the hammer. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Yeah, we saved her! Alright. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Hey. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Go talk to Mr. Principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Report Nathan. There we go. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class. Poor Max can't catch a brick. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Yes. Let's do it. Rewind faster.
You look a little stressed out. All right, let's just skip. Hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard it. Teen toot. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Hmm. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You know what? We'll go with the truth. It seems to be the best option. You look a little scared. Alright. Report Nathan. And I will skip. I just one. saw Nathan press. Okay. We'll go with the truth. May as well tell the truth. We'll go to main campus now. Alright. Black Will Academy. Posters. Miss Grant, what are you doing out here? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. Why does she What's refer to herself in the third person? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Of course I will. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Nope. We're signing up. Alright. Now where should go? Fountain. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. What do we do? We just sit here for a while. Is that it? Okay, no, she's gonna get up on her own accord. Right? Game. Right? Okay. <laughs> no, that was all me. Dormitory. Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh. Stella. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. 
You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it... Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Cool kids. Not my kind of click. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Warren. Journal. Hey Max, you have a flash drive, it's very full of space. Hello, I run late. Let me to the lab looking cool. You see? I can't be see you shortly. Hope so. Mom? Happy birthday! 18. Kit. Grip 4. Dad. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Alright, let's go to the dorms. This is the... it is, yeah. Press A to go to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. <laughs> Come on, bruh. Come on, Logan, bruh. Yeah. Yeah. I love that they put bra in this I game. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. That is the absolute best. Come on, bruh. Hello, Alyssa. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Alright. Go along, bruh. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. No, bro. Oh, God, I hope there's surfer dudes in this game. <laughs> Their voices are always the best. Shaka, bruh. Hi, Victoria. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Waif. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Bitches. Oh wait, hold that pose. No. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, <laughs> why don't you go fuck your selfie? All over oh, yes, the Victoria. social medias. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Hi, Samuel. Uh, use? Ha! What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look. Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Karma's a bitch, bitch. No. Do you understand English? Get lost. God damn it. Uh. I mean, there's something else. Rachel owes the owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Oh no. no. 
All right. There's something with the and. She's not gonna let me through. Oh, the ball! Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Wait, let me go talk to Logan. Is it Logan? Logan, bro. No, nope, you won't let me do anything. What about Alyssa? No. Nope. Wait, there's someone sitting there. There's only one way around this. Okay. Now he's gonna go up. Put that there. But I can't do anything with it. Hmm. See if there's anything in his office. No, doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Okay. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and None she's still shall pass. stylish. None Good shall you. pass. Oh, okay, do I have to? No, I had something there. None shall pass. Capiche? Sweet. No. Okay. I would have thought that the, if you use the ball. Okay. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Gotcha. Got it now. Tampa with the bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. You go, Samuel. Up you go. Take your time. No rush. Seriously, don't go any faster, it's fine. We're not in the time limit here. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Okay. Okay, so that's... Alright, so that's tampered with. Now I gotta go do the water. All right, I should skip all this. No way! No fucking okay, way! Victoria? And now oh, she's covered in pitch. Sorry, wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Now can we go? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Comfort her. I am sorry. No. That's an awesome cashmere coat. 
It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. No. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. See? Be nice to everyone. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Alright. No. Victoria probably played me.